There seems to be something wrong with this mannequin. What is it? It doesn't have climbing shoes on. Many climbers ask the question, how do I figure out what climbing shoe I should get? There are so many different options, and frankly, climbing shoes look kind of weird, especially if you're new to climbing, new to bouldering, new to this sport. The shoe on the right is the shoe that I currently own, and the shoe on the left is a slightly newer model because I really like the shoe and might get it again. But I wanna walk through the process of how I picked out what shoe I liked. Hopefully this is helpful for beginners who get really intimidated by all the weird looking shoes. So let's figure it out together. Hey, it's Josh. I wanted to thank you for watching this video. If you would, drop a like, comment, and share. It helps make videos like this possible. Thanks so much, now back to the video. One of the first things that I look for is the toe box. The toe box is this front part of the shoe, and this is one of the most important parts for me because if the toe box doesn't fit my foot, the anatomy of my foot, or the anatomy of my toe box well, then the shoe is just going to be super uncomfortable, it's gonna be pinching my toes and feel really awkward. In the first photo that you saw, you might notice there is something called a foot asymmetry specifically speaking about the front of the foot or the toe box. Now you can look and a symmetric foot is going to go towards a point near the middle of the toe box and an asymmetric toe box is gonna go towards a point near the right side of the foot on the left foot or the left side of the foot on the right foot. So one of the tricks I use is to look at the curvature of your toe box, of your physical foot, and then look at the curvature of the front of a shoe or the toe box of a shoe. And the one that resembles your foot the most is probably gonna fit the best. And there are plenty of shoes that are asymmetric and that are symmetric and everything in between. So it's really important to try on a bunch of shoes. The next thing people talk about is how aggressive the shoe is. There's a neutral shoe, there's a moderate shoe, and aggressive shoe. Neutral means it's pretty flat. You can kind of walk around like a normal shoe, and I really like these for if I have a long day of climbing, especially top roping or lead climbing. They tend to be a little bit more comfortable than a moderate or aggressive shoe, but the perks of having an aggressive shoe, like the one that I've been using for a while, is I like it to grab on really small toe chips on really aggressive boulders. And I just seem to be able to cling on a little bit more. The shoe holds slightly more tension on the foot than a moderate or neutral shoe. Speaking of comfort, Velcro or laces. Velcro is so convenient for bouldering and laces tend to be a much more comfortable shoe that morphs to the shape of your foot. So it really depends on what you're going for. At a climbing gym, having an aggressive shoe that tends to be uncomfortable, it's so nice just to pull off the Velcro and rip off the shoe in just a matter of seconds, where it can take like a minute or even two minutes to put on a shoe with laces. I like shoes with laces because I can walk around the gym or I can walk around the cliffs for a really long time without having my foot hurt the whole day. The next thing that I look for is a heel. Now there are shallow heels and there are really deep heels. And this also depends on the anatomy of your foot. I have a really shallow heel. So finding one that fits my foot is ideal and necessary for the fit of the shoe. It's really helpful to, again, try on shoes. And if you feel a lot of room in that heel, then that might not be the shoe for you. Or maybe the shoe is a little bit too loose. Try sizing down. The last thing that I look for is, of course, budget. Now, I could find the most comfortable shoe that fits my feet perfectly and meets my needs, but it could be upwards of $200, even $250. So finding a shoe in my budget is really crucial. There are so many different brands and so many different websites that you can find climbing shoes on, and it is really helpful to go to a physical place to try on those shoes. But what if there's not a physical place like that to try on shoes? Then that could be really difficult. There are some websites that will send you a shoe and you can try them on before you purchase. So if you can find some place like that, then that is really beneficial. And if you can't, then maybe try to follow these tips. Try to make sure that the heel isn't gonna be too big by just simply looking at your heel and especially the toe box, making sure that that toe box resembles the anatomy of your foot.
These are the particular shoes that I use. They are actually aggressive. This particular shoe is a little bit old, so it might look kind of flat, but it actually kind of forms to the foot in a much more aggressive way, especially since I like it a very tight fit. The reason I got these is because number one, this particular shoe has a pretty shallow heel. I have small heels. Um, I don't have the biggest curve in my foot, so I need this. The next reason that I got it is this shoe box, the toe box here. So this is what many people would call an asymmetric toe box. Uh, the reason that I use this particular one is because it resembles the toe box of my foot, the anatomy of my foot. These I really like because they are Velcro. So it's super easy to slip on and off in the gym. They're not the most comfortable shoe in the world, but I would say that these have a neoprene sock inside of them. So once you break them in, they become so much more comfortable. Don't be afraid if you try on the shoe and it is really tight because this particular synthetic leather will stretch a little bit, but it won't stretch as much as real leather. The next thing that I look for is budget. These are a very expensive shoe and I had to save up quite a, quite a while for this particular pair of shoes. My last pair were tarantula laces and that's more of a budget pair, but I felt like it was worth it in my climbing experience to upgrade shoes to something a little bit more aggressive because that fits my particular style of climbing. I wanted to thank you for watching this video. If you would, drop a like, comment, and share. It helps make videos like this possible. Thanks so much.